A common thing to do in Excel is to print and many people just want to print off a specific area just like that. And there are two ways that you can do this. One of them is once you've got the area selected you can go into File, choose Print and choose to print from the settings here the print selection. That will then print out only your selection on the screen. You'll notice down here it says it's printing page one of one. If I was to go back to print active sheets, you'd see that there are actually two pages there because it's going to print everything I've got. So there is another way you can do this. Highlight this area here and set that as a print area. And Excel will remember it when you save it. So when you come back to it, you don't have to do that again, that selection. And all you need to do for it is once it's highlighted, is go to page layout, choose print area, and choose set print area. You'll now see that it's got dashed lines around here. So you don't have to highlight this again, it'll remember it. And if you go to file and choose print, and assuming you're not on print selection here, it will show you what you've got here. That's the area that I chose. Now if I go back to page layout, you can actually add to it if you want to. So if you had another area, so if I wanted to, for example, print that area, I can now go back to print area and choose add to print area. So again, I'm in the page layout tab when I do that. If I now go to file, choose print, you'll see there are two pages here now and the second page has that second area. So you can keep it there, it's very handy. I'm just going to go back to the page layout. So a really useful tool that one. So one is a bit more one you might use on an ad hoc where you go print selection and the other one is one that you might use if you want the same areas over and over again. Now you can change it by clearing the area and to do that you go back to print area. You can be on any cell for this. Click on it and choose clear print area and you can see that the areas, the dashed lines around them have disappeared and it's gone back to normal page breaks to view those. So there are two different ways that you could do that. Both of them work just as well. So now you can choose what areas you want in Excel to print out.